Hello again and welcome to the Ultimate Racing League, sponsored by upshiftstore.co.uk and digitalmotorsports.com. This is round two of our BTCC Championship. Uh, this week coming from Monza in Italy. Uh, let's go straight to the uh, stretch of the grid. It's based on qualifying results. So in pole position we've got TCC, we've got Excalibur in second, Brian Moncani in third, Flash in fourth, Warwolf in fifth, Firepower in sixth, Gamer Race in seventh, Angry Man in eighth, Brody in ninth, Jim Bob in tenth, Ginger in eleventh, Potsy in twelfth, Pablo in thirteenth and Seamus in fourteenth. So we've got fourteen cars battling out tonight for you. Got a couple of new competitors in there too. Welcome to Excalibur and Brian Moncani. Um, new to the group, first uh, week with us. Um, so welcome to those. Like they really enjoy it, and uh, hopefully we we'll get some good racing with those in in, in there as well. So uh, most people decided to go with uh, racing super softs, couple with uh, just the softs. Uh, Seamus has decided though to go with the mediums in race one. So we've got three races for you tonight, three 15-minute races, uh, one of which uh, all competitors have got to run uh, a medium compound tyre. So Seamus has decided to uh, go with that in race one. Uh, so let's see, let's go straight to the, uh, the start. So revs are up. I think the lights must be on. And we should be away any second. And away we go. Looks like everyone's away cleanly. As they head down to this first right-hander, it's not really a sort of a sweeping right-hander, it's real quick, uh, quick bend. So Excalibur takes up the lead. Fourth, the Warwolf in fifth, Firepower in sixth, Brody in seventh, Jim Bob in eighth, Game Race in tenth, Ginger in eleventh, and uh, pots it all, and Ginger goes wide. So Ginger, with way too much speed around there, just got himself on the outside of the, the track and it pulled him out onto the gravel. That's unfortunate, so he drops back down to, to last to Ginger. I think he put, just went a little bit too quick around there. There was cars all around him and uh, maybe just, yeah, I don't know, just kind of went too quick and, uh, as I say, ran out of track, so to speak, and uh, that was the end of uh, end of that. So he's up in the gravel, but he'll get back into the uh, into the group here, or Ginger. So let's go back up front. So we've got Excalibur and Brian Moncani, or as Jim Bob goes wide in the background. So the two Belgians goes up in front. It's Brian McCartney takes up the lead with TTC in third. There's a small penalty that he will get rid of. It's only a small penalty, so it should take too long to get rid of that. In fact, he has got rid of it right there in the braking zone. So TTC in third. And the Ferrari chasing down the Mustang and Genesis of Excalibur and Brian Moncarney, respectively. So he looks on the outside. Does TTC, can you get him down there in the Ferrari? Has he got enough pace to get past the other two? No, drops back into third, so as they come around the last right-hander now, before they hit the start or finish. Neck and neck, out front with Brian Moncarni and Excalibur. But good clean racing through there. TCC having a look up the inside now, then he decided to drop back into it, and will he go through the between, he's looking between both of them, so there's a little gap there, can he get through it? I don't think he's got quite got the pace in the Ferrari to get to get through, squeezing a little bit, but it's all fair, it's all clean. No, I just didn't know, I think it's backing off slightly as they reach this high speed right hander. Can normally get out down there flat, depending on the car you're in. So now as they head up to this tricky first chicane, there's always a little bit of action goes on up here, it's very hard on the brakes, very tight, but everyone seems to be through it. Oh, and TCC gets it out of shape and knocks off Flash into the dirt, so they both go off into the dirt. So TCC and Flash, a bit unfortunate that. So I'm not sure, was it Flash that went up the inside? It might have been Flash, as I think he'd give the place back to TCC, or was it Brody? Because Brody slowed down, so maybe it was Brody that done it. So Flash and uh, TCC, so Flash in ninth for TCC, back to back to eighth. So it's a bit unfortunate, or has Brody got an issue? So Brody at the back there. Jim Bob at the back, so yeah, a little bit of action I think was happening there on the chicane. So a little bit unfortunate, I'm not too sure what happened to Jim Bob. I know he went wide a little bit earlier on in the lap, but I don't think that had anything to do with that. I think there might have been a little bit of a mix up in the chicane there. It's always a tricky chicane. Gotta be really careful, tight, and oh, and Brody with a small penalty, so must have cut the corner somewhere. Looks up the inside of Pablo through there, but he's gotta think twice about it. 
more than likely get rid of the penalty along this straight here. Just pulls over to the right, he does. There you go, and Pablo takes up 12th then. So Brody in 13th with Jim Bob at the back in 14th again, it looks like. Just get rid of a penalty. So I'm not too sure what's happening there. So back up front anyway, got the two, two guys up there. Scalibur taking up the lead from Brian Moncarni. So the two Belgians up front, very close. In tandem up there, two white cars. Brian Moncarni having a look up the inside. Can he get up the inside? Little, little gap there, he does get up there, does he? Not sure, but oh, Scalibur going wide. Gets his door, he goes out wide. I think it might have been just a little bit of a door to door, but it was fair. Keeps it on track. Did well to control it, actually. The game race now has got himself up to game race. Won uh, one of the races from last week. Got himself up into third in the Scirocco, so he's showing some good pace. Gets himself through with Warwolf closely followed, following him in fourth. Again, Warwolf with some uh, some good points from last week. With Firepower in fifth. And the Aston Martin, so Firepower is uh, going to be clinging on to the back of War Wolf here. It's all about getting in the draft on this track. It's a fast track with the exception of a couple of chicanes. Got some, uh, most of it is a, uh, you know, a lot of straights, fast sections. So getting into the draft and into the slip of other cars is key round here. So firepower in fifth with, uh, with Angry Man chasing him down in sixth, closely followed by TCC who's dropped down to seventh. So again, I think TCC must have made a bit of an error somewhere to drop him down because he was up up fighting for their lead um, in the first lap or two, so yeah, he's made a mistake there somewhere. Always had a, a large penalty that he's had to get rid of, but either way, he's, uh, he's, got his, uh, he's down to sixth now. So uh, Angry Man drops down to seventh with Flash in eighth after his excursion off. Potsy behind him in ninth in the, uh, in the McLaren. Now, can Potsy get into the slip of Flash? In fact, in the slip of everybody looking at this. But can he get there now? We'll see. Looked like he's got quite as much pace as the Corvette, which I don't think you you know you would expect anyway. But no, I just can't quite get there. So they head round this sweeping right-hander. Again, Flash just holding it out there. He goes out on the wide line, but sets himself up on the inside now for the left hand of the chicane. Has he got there? He did get there on TCC, a little bit late on it, just a little bit too hard on the brave, couldn't quite stop, but... So drops down to eighth, a bit unfortunate at that, Potsy just drops in behind him in ninth, so if it was unfortunate, he uh, did have a lot of pace through there, might have just got himself in the slip, come out of the slip, and it's hard to get you braking. Um, you know, correct there, when you're, when you're coming out of a car's slip. So drops down to eighth, Potsy in ninth, Ginger in tenth. So he's made up a couple of spots because he was at the back after his big off at the uh, at the first bend on lap one. So Ginger making his way through now, through the field. Pablo in 11th with Seamus in 12th. Jim Bob at the back still in 13th. Now, unfortunately, I don't quite know what happened with Jim Bob. I, I didn't see it, but as I say, I know he went off a bit earlier in the uh, in the in the race. But I don't think that had anything to do with it. He may have, it may have slowed him right down, and he may have, but I think he, there was a bit more to it than that. He might have had another issue somewhere a bit later on on that. But uh, nevertheless, he's at the back in 13th. So in front of him, looking at Pablo now, is Seamus. Can Seamus get him? Pablo's got a, quite a nice little gap to Seamus, so he might be a little bit too far back, Seamus, to get into the slip of. Uh, have low, but you never know. It's a long straight along here, so he well, might be close enough actually. It looks pretty close to me. But I think by the time he gets into being able to get into the slip, he's going to have to ease off as I head round this uh, this right hand up. I mean, it is pretty much flat out around there, but at the end of this, you've got the you've got the hard chicane. And that is down to first, second gear to get round here. Really tricky bend that if you're, and right on cue, as I say, tricky bend, it's very hard to stop. And again, I think it was a, a case of just getting into someone's slip. And then you're pulling out the slip and going into, uh, into dirty air and suddenly you're breaking. Uh, it's a problem with your braking if you know, it's possible that you, you get a bit, of a bit of a problem now. So Jim Bob again in the background, just running a little bit wide. 
So Jim Bob just uh, getting used to this again, this track. Maybe uh, maybe not a favourite of his, not sure. Let's go quick, have a look up front quickly, see if the boys up there are still the same. So Brian Moncarni has put out a bit of a lead now on Excalibur, but still them two out in front with Warwolf now taking up third place. So he's got past Gamer Ace, who drops into fourth. So Warwolf having a good race here tonight. Can he chase down Excalibur and Mon Brian Moncarni? Plenty of time left in this race to do that. It's just whether he can, whether we've got that pace in that Lexus to be able to catch them. The game race uh, is going to follow him too. He's going to just uh, sit into his slip. See if he can get a little bit of help from Warwolf. Looks like he's in there now. Could be pulling out, which he does. Pulls out to the inside as they head round this right-hander. Does get their game race. Can he get himself up into third? He does. There you go. So he gets himself into third. Warwolf just slots back into fourth. So good race in there from by, by them two. And it's hard on the brakes at the 150 metre board. Is it clean through there? Oh, bit of a slide from Gamer Race. Oh, a little bit out of control. Oh, and he resets itself, the game. And so he's back to fifth. That's going to give Flash a little bit of an incentive. And Flash, in, in fact, they go past, go past him. So both Flash and TCC go past him. So Flash into fifth, TCC into sixth. So that little error by Gamer Race at the chicane drops him back down to seventh now with Angry Man in eighth. Very easy to do there, that chicane, if you could. If if you don't get your brake in right, easy to go straight on there and muck it up. But he gets past TCC actually, and that was quite a good little move. Goes on the outside of TCC, then drops in the inside of uh, Flash. Gets himself up now into into fifth. So good move from Gamer Ace. So Flash now just follows him through. Gets right up behind him, does Flash. Could be in a position down here to get in on the brakes down onto the right hand of the last corner before they hit the uh, the straight, the, the start and finish straight. Does he get there? I think he does. Certainly thought about it. No. I think Game Racer just held the outside line. Yeah, he does. So Flash will get him down here, isn't it? If he could stay where he is. He must have more pace in that Corvette than in the Scirocco. And TCC is clinging on as well with Angry Man also having a look. So we've got four cars here, all getting in each other's slip, pulls out, flash. Get past Gamer Race, does he get there? I think he does, he does. As they head round this right-hander. Yeah, easy pass in the end, and TCC following it through. So we've got a double slip, does TCC gets himself in the sixth, so Gamer Race back to seventh now. This could be uh, fun up here as they hit the uh, Chicane with three, four cars in the mix. Steady, boys. Is it clean through here? Yes, yeah, a lot clean that time through there. Don't think there's any mistakes, nice and clean. So Angry Man is also having a look. Getting on the back of that, well, I say clean, just as I say that. Game Race has picked up a second penalty. One second penalty, so you will ha obviously have to get rid of that. But So if anything, he's gonna drop one place back. Angry Man might get him once he gets rid of it all, but he might be able to just uh, get rid of it without losing the spot as TCC has a look on Flash but he's on the outside now coming onto this left hander so Flash remains in fifth not sure you're going to go out on the outside there no he doesn't so TCC stays in sixth game of race he's got rid of most of the penalty he's got a little bit left to get rid of he should be okay he should be able to get rid of that without giving away a place no he doesn't so he does drop behind Angry Man Angry Man then into seventh so Angry Man having a look Chasing down TCC and Flash as they're still together coming around his right hander. But Flash still holds it in fifth. This is a great little battle between these two. Goes a little bit wide, does Flash, but holds it on track. He does lose the place though to TCC, so he just gets his slip again. I'm going to stick with these two for now because looking at the other guys on track, it looks to be the closest battle at the moment. So, goes out around the outside, Flash. Should, okay, should have the pace in that Corvette. Yeah, he does just get around there. That's clean, nice clean driving that. Well done, boys, that was really good. Angry Man, though, he hasn't given up, he really hasn't. And that RCZ, he's got the help of a cut double slipstream there and got himself up there now as they hit the chicane. Clean through there again. Yeah, well played, a little bit of lag from Angry Man. 
But it remains in seventh. He really is hanging on to these boys. Game race just dropping off the back, and Ginger's actually now coming back into play. So can Ginger catch up with uh, Game Race? I've got a long left of this race actually, so it may not be enough time for Ginger to catch him. If he can get into the slip, maybe, but doesn't have to be close enough at the moment. Potsy in tenth, Pablo in eleventh with Jim Bob, who's made up a place actually into twelfth. Again, not sure what's happening. It looks like he's... Yeah, I'm not sure there's an issue there with Jim Bob because he's ghosting now. It's going to give Seamus an opportunity to go past him. I don't know if he's got an issue, Jim Bob, and maybe he's had an issue all race, which is why he's been near the back. So I'm not too sure what's happening here. Seamus is catching him, slowly but surely, but it does look like Jim Bob has got a major issue because he's, go he's ghosting and yeah, drops to the back now as Seamus gets past him. So I'm not sure what that is. So let's go back up front anyway. So it's Gallagher up front now. And in fact, he's taking a lead Excalibur. So uh, he's pulling away from his compatriot, Brian Moncarney in second. But these two pretty much dominating from start to finish at the moment. They were at the front of the grid. And uh, haven't really looked back. Had some good battles up there with TCC, but then TCC have made a mistake somewhere along the line, drop back. But Warwolf with a great race this time, going in the third. Really impressed with Warwolf actually. He looked quite good last. Uh, he was getting, you know, looked good last uh, the last round. Looked like he was ever improving on every race, and it just shows tonight that he certainly is to get himself up to the top three. And we are in the final lap now, so it could be that he's going to finish in the podium tonight, which is a great result for Warwolf. Firepower in fourth, which is also, if you could stay there, is another good result for Firepower. Good driver is Firepower. Flash in fifth, still being handed by TCC, so it's still these two uh, battling it out to the end with Angry Man. Still just trying to chase him down, but let's go to the front again. So head down to uh, the final bend. On the final lap, Brian Moncarney has caught up with uh, Excalibur, but I think he's going to get him. I don't know though, he is right up him. Oh, he is. And look at this, very close. I think Excalibur might just hold him off because the line is just around this corner. Don't get a lot of runoff to the end of the, where the line is. So, congratulations, Excalibur. Good win. Good win for Brian Mon uh, second for Brian Moncarney. Warwolf in third, Firepower coming in in fourth. Flash just holding off TCC, so Flash in fifth, TCC in sixth. Angry Man with a good seventh. Game race eighth, Ginger. Did get up the back of him in ninth. Potsy in tenth, Pablo in eleventh. Seamus coming in in twelfth, and then whatever issue Jim Bob had, he's going to round it off in thirteenth. That was a good race there, guys. So join me again soon for race two from Monza. And I'll see you then.